Hey guys, how are you going? And uh, welcome to a brand new series here. So Big Ant have finally released the Ultimate Team version of Cricket 22, which is now called Big 11 Online League. So we're going to be taking a quick overview of that. We're going to create our team, uh, manage our squad or build our squad up. And then potentially, depending on time, we'll see if we can actually play an online game. So I actually haven't gone in here at all, so this is going to be my first time actually going through the process. So let's take a look. Big 11 Online League. Welcome to the Big 11 Online League, the new mode in Cricket 22 that lets you build your dream team and take on the world online. Uh, teams in online leagues will need to be balanced with requirements to have a balance of batters and bowlers, uh, players of different skill tiers, and limits on the amount of players with the same bowling type. All to ensure that players need to come up with different ta uh, differing tactics, both when building their team and playing for the matches. Learn more about how the mode works, how to build your team using R to navigate the pages. Okay, let's uh, take a look and see what we actually need to do here. So we have uh, five player tiers. They're given a classification based on the overall rating. Now these are the players that are only from the licensed teams. So the ones that you see in community um, won't be there. So first up we have Sapphire, players, players above 80 overall. We've got Emerald, players between 75 and 79. Gold, 65 and 74. Silver, 51, 64. And Bronze, players below 50. So the lineup that we're going to have when we play online will have a limit of player of player types, uh, also like the tiers as well. So you're only allowed to select one Sapphire tier player, one player above 80 overall. Uh, and as such, you'll need to carefully select players at the highest tiers to get the best option for your team. Okay, so a bit of a strat strategic element in play for it. I don't mind that at all. Hopefully it evens out the teams. Moving on to lineup limits. So lineups can only be made with the following restrictions on player tier. So only one Sapphire tier player, a maximum of three emerald or above which is 75 to 79 and then uh, a minimum of three players from the silver or bronze tiers in addition to ensure lineups are not too heavily skewed the following additional rules also apply must have one wicket keeper that's probably to avoid having a batter as a wicket keeper which makes sense minimum of three specialist batters and three specialist bowlers and then must not have uh, more than four of any category of bowler such as medium pace or wrist spin interesting now I'm not too. I've never played online before, so I'm wondering if there's some sort of uh, uh, not hack, but like something that people sort of used uh, in previous online games to try and gain an edge. So it's good to see that I've added a few stipulations here, and it'll be interesting to see what we can do with our lineup. Also, one thing I should mention is that uh, you can't actually cross-play between consoles. Uh, same goes for cross-generation as well. So, for instance, I'm on PS5. I can't play anyone. Uh, that has a PS4 unfortunately and then of course you can't play between PlayStation, Xbox and Steam etc. But I have heard that they're working on, uh, working on cross-generational gameplay uh, against each other. So that is something that uh, to look forward to in the future. Just Because I'm concerned with the PS5 that there might not be a lot of people out there who have the game on PS5. So I might not be able to play as many games as I'm hoping. But uh, we'll soon see how we get on. So you'll also need to create a lineup that fits within the rules before you can head online. In the bottom right of the lineup screen, there are counters to assist you in verifying you are meeting the lineup requirements. That's good to know. Uh, to ensure you have a valid lineup, you won't be able to make changes to your lineup pre-match. However, you can set multiple preset lineups and cycle between them. And then if no lineup is valid, you'll need to fix the lineups before playing online again. So you might be wondering how this is scored and how you are ranked. So the ranking system focuses on the points earned in a match, not just the basic wins and losses. So a key part of this is the fair play point system, where you'll be rewarded for good sporting behavior online and lose points for any for unfair or exploitative tactics, such as loading up fielders on one side, on too many short ball, shorter wide balls or taking a batting guard well outside of stump. So this must have been like a problem in previous uh, online games for the Big Ant games. Pre uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but uh, there must have been some sort of uh, easy way to score runs or take wickets. Uh, on the other hand, you can gain points through good play, including bonuses for playing through to the end of a match, even if you're certain to lose. And in general, playing without incurring any unfair play penalties. There you go. Match types. When playing, you can choose which length of matches to search for. So we can play either 5-5, 10-10, 20-20, and the new Big 40. So this is almost like a test match. So you have two innings of 20 overs each. It's almost like uh, Cricket Max, uh, for those who remember that, uh, with only four wickets per innings. Interesting. Means you need to keep your wickets in hand when building your total and bowl aggressive enough to take wickets to avoid ending in a draw. I actually don't mind it at all because no one's going to play an online game uh, as a test match because that's just, it's, I mean, there's probably too many things that could go wrong as well. Like your connect, connection could drop out. Yeah, imagine if you're like day three and then your connection screws out and you've lost all that game. That'd be not ideal. So I'd quite like that. 
Uh, the longer match types will have an overalls, overall points multiplier, in addition to having more time to, to score points through scoring runs and taking wickets, playing longer matches can be a fast track to leveling, leveling up, which makes sense, it just means that the games take a bit longer. Opponents online, we know it might be tough finding opponents to play online, so it is possible to play against your friends online, however if you play against them too often you will get reduced points compared to playing against others, that makes sense so in case you're trying to like farm points just against your mates, letting them have an easy win. So that's good, so keep playing a variety of opponents to maxim maximize your potential scores. As part of the points you earn are dependent on the difference in rank between you and your opponent. Playing against low level opponents will eventually stop you leveling up further, so make sure to keep challenging yourself, I like that. So uh, let's go, now you're ready to get started on building your starting 11, you can change your squad as much as you like between matches, so experiment and see what works for how you play. I've also got confirmation that you can actually change your uniform uh, before each game as well, so it's not locked in uh, just to the one you select at the start. So of course, first up, we're going to be selecting the team identity, naming the team, setting up the uniforms, and building your squad. And after that, we'll be able to play online if there are, if there is anyone out there willing to play. Okay, here we go. Start your team set up by setting up your team's identity, fill in your team's name, select a logo, color scheme, and more from the identity tile. Okay, here we go. Identity, full team name. Now, look, online, uh, when we stream, we go with Muppet uh, 11 more often than not. So I'm feeling like I'm going, I could go like that. I don't know if we can change the actual team name before each game potentially, but for now, we're gonna run with Muppet, uh, Muppet CC, Muppet Cricket Club. I don't mind that. So full team name Muppet CC, scorecard name Muppet CC, shirt name just MCC, which uh, could be a potential uh, copyright there with the Marylebone Cricket Club. But there you go. Now we can select logos. So we can also select uh, if you press R1, you can go to custom logos. So unfortunately, I don't have any. Uh, any made up Muppet logo which would have been nice to have so I'm just gonna go with a just one that uh, I think Big Ant have created so there's quite a few uh, different stock logos that we can choose from I was thinking about the salmon although it is the Kingston Coys and I don't want to tarnish the great name as we probably will lose a few online matches so I think I'm gonna go this bloke because he looks like an absolute Muppet as for the colors I think we can change these potentially so I'm just gonna go primary color I do like a bit of uh, dark gray slash black uh, secondary color we'll just run a blue at the moment just to match with the logo uh, hard text color can stay white home stadiums let's change the home ground we can choose between all the ones I will st oh what do we go with I don't know if we want to go with like a a ground that has small boundaries in case we get smashed or if we go over large boundaries and not get smashed but just can't score any sixes I'm actually going to use the Docklands Stadium why not custom name we're going to call it there we go it is called the muppet drone get around it i think we're set apologies i've been actually covering it for quite some time there but that's what it looks like that is looking fantastic so now that we've done the identity your squad is incomplete select the manage squad tile and add enough players to form a valid lineup to be able to play for sure let's go manage squad so as you can see on the right hand side we've got the uh what we need so three batters one keeper specialist bowls three okay Let's give it a go how i don't know how large this squad has to be doesn't say anything but let's give it a go okay here are the players we've got kane williamson's the highest overall and he counts as a specialist bat we can only use one uh, in a game for sapphire tier but I, i'm assuming we can add multiple into the squad so we can change it up so let's take a look my first thought was having a uh, all-rounder I was thinking uh, potentially Ben Stokes, but then it's a left-handed bat and I don't like using left-handers because um, I'm shit with them. So do I just go with a straight up uh, bat? I, no, I'm really not sure. Okay, I'm gonna lock in Ben Stokes, fair play. And then I'm gonna make, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna add Kane Williamson. Now, I don't know if that's going to affect Sapphire tier two, so it's letting me do it. Okay, that's good. Uh, we can actually, f so this is all tiers, we can actually filter on s just the Sapphire tier, just the Emerald tier, so we need, so a maximum of three Emerald players or above, so does that mean we can only have two Emerald and one Sapphire, potentially, but uh, we need th we need to figure out the uh, actual uh, team makeup, I thought it was 75 to 79, but it, ca it counts as 80 as well, so there you go. First selection, I'm going to select Jason Holder, a nice little all-rounder there. Uh, I want to go a pure bowler next, I think. I'm thinking maybe Jimmy. Who else is in the mixer? Maybe Kemar Roach, Matt Henry as well. But I think we've got to go for the high overall, I reckon. Maybe a Jai. Oh, hang about. Rashid Khan's 75. I'm going to put him in the mixer for sure. So that's a leggy. Nice. 
and we need we still need specialist bowlers right i thought we already had specialist bowler in uh rashid khan was he not counted as one we'll go jimmy anderson there we go specialist bowler uh, i've got three so i mean we'll add a couple more just to save ourselves um when we create our squad gonna go maxi gonna go timmy sow there and i think i'm gonna go we only got one specialist bat so we need to change that up gonna go ollie pope as well now this is just a like i'm not sure what the best tactic is at the moment so i'm just sort of going just sort of just uh, having a having a play around i think we could be able to change this in the future so we're just having a little look and i'll go darren bravo why not we've got the min minimum specialist bat is a three we need one more bowler which we'll probably have a look at the gold tier so we've got a few to select from here definitely going to go zampa don't know why is that lowly overrated but we'll claim him okay we've got three bowls three bats i think we need another specialist bat because why not i'm going to go alex Hales as well because he can hit a long ball so we've got enough from the sapphire i have got enough from the gold oh, silver bronze tier okay we still need a few there also need a wiki keeper I totally forgot about the wiki keeper we can also filter here we'll filter on uh wiki keeper 19 players found um Seb Gotch potentially andre fletcher can hit a long ball De Silva as well not too bad banton 69 though uh, i'm gonna go banton so there's no one in the bronze tier so it's only for silver tier okay so we I need to select two more silver tier players i'm just gonna go a couple of uh 64s i think so i'm gonna go uh sutherland and then one more i'm just going to go uh let's go evans so we have a lot of uh all-rounders which i'm not against especially when they're like a 5-5 five five. might need to change it up if we're doing like a big 40 right um but i think we've got enough specialists well we do it says um so i'm gonna run that for, for now we can change it okay we currently don't have any valid lineups go to the lineups tile create a valid lineup to play okay so removed ben stokes um from the squad i'm actually gonna have to rejig this squad up because we can only have uh, between sapphire and emerald we can only have three in the team right so I, i'm gonna need a, a lot more gold players and i'm gonna settle for the bare minimum uh or the bare maximum so i'm gonna have the max of three silver players i need to figure out what we use maybe i might even have to go like a silver keeper okay so i've done some chopping and changing and this is what i've gone for for now now we can always change this but uh, for now i was just having a little play around there might be a new strategy to go uh, moving forward uh but we'll just see what works pretty much so we've got hales and banton up top there two gold players um kane williamson and three uh the only sapphire player there and our captain we've got colin ingram we've got maxwell holder azam khan who is our keeper will sutherland siddle zampa and zach evans rounding out the 11 there now of course i'll probably change this as time goes on but i just wanted to have a look so as you can see on the right hand side we meet all the criteria three specialist bats three specialist bowlers uh we've actually got two keepers but uh we're going to have azam khan in there as the silver keeper which we'll play banton as a opening bat uh, so the bowler type balance is okay sapphire we've got the one and williamson three sapphire slash emerald which is maxwell holder and williamson gold tier we've got five and then bronze tier we've got three which seems to be the uh well i'm not going to go any more than three that's for certain so that is the opening uh lineup uh what, let me know what you guys think so moving on to the uniform here i'm just gonna have a little play around with this so stand by right this is the early stage of the uniform that we're running with now i've added because you can download teams they also come with the logos as well so some teams have the missouri logo and because you can actually get like missouri sponsored kit so i'm just going to try and make it quite realistic so this is what we're going for at the moment i've taken uh inspiration from the black apps kit because that is ideally one of the better kits and uh, i actually don't think that looks too bad so here we are here's the muppet cc uniform at the moment doesn't look too shabby okay now that took me like 50 minutes to do so unfortunately we won't play a game just yet i don't actually think we'll play we'll find any uh matches at this time anyway but um that was just a, an overview of what you can expect when you actually come onto the big 11 uh tab that's under online as well so the next stage so i'll just this will be like a uh, number zero episode pretty much just like a get to know this uh mode and then next episode will be the first online match which i'm pretty keen for so yeah hopefully the uniforms stick we've had issues with them not in the past but it looks pretty decent there and uh yeah i'm pretty keen to get around it 
let me know your thoughts in the comments below so there we have it for the opening video of the big 11 online mode pretty much uh the cricket 22 version of ultimate team get around it uh but yeah thank you so much for watching if you've enjoyed today's episode please leave a like and subscribe if you're feeling up to it leave a comment down below about what you think you'll name your own team and uh which players you'd like to see in your own team but uh yeah until then take it easy